During the last many years, hundreds of thousands of you have returned from serving full-time missions. Each of you heeded the same call the Savior gave to his disciples. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. It was your privilege to go to many parts of the world to carry the Savior's message, an invitation to come unto him and enjoy the fruits of his gospel. You were privileged to live in different cultures and learn different languages. It was also a time of building your own personal testimony of the mission of Jesus Christ. While you no longer wear a missionary badge, you seem anxious to identify yourself as one who has served the Lord as a missionary. Moreover, you have fond memories because you discovered the joy of gospel service. I have also learned from many conversations with you that the adjustment associated with leaving the mission field and returning to the world you left behind is sometimes difficult. Perhaps it was hard to keep alive the spirit of missionary work when you were no longer serving as a full-time missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. May I offer just a few suggestions? One of the strongest reflections I have of being a missionary is how close I drew to the Lord through the practice of regular prayer. The frequency of our appeals to our Father in Heaven gave us strength and courage to press forward in the work we've been called. Answers would come, sometimes in astonishingly direct and positive ways. The guidance of the Holy Spirit seemed to be magnified the more times we appealed to the Lord for direction on a given day. As I look back on my life following my mission, I realize that there were periods when I was able to maintain the same closeness to the Lord that I experienced in the mission field. There were also periods when the world seemed to creep in and I was less consistent and faithful with my prayers. If the world has diverted us from the practice of prayer, we then have lost great spiritual power. Maybe it is time that we rekindled our missionary spirit through more frequent, consistent, and mighty prayer. The next fond memory I have as a missionary is that of daily engaging in scripture study. The discipline of following the scripture plan of learning the gospel was a wonderful, rewarding experience. Our minds were sharpened as we followed the daily practice of individual and companion study. The practice brought us closer together as, as companions and increased our understanding of the doctrines of the kingdom. When we leave the mission field, we no longer have companions to help discipline us in our study habits. But that does not mean that the practice should be discontinued. As we return home, how great it would be to hold daily family scripture study. If we leave home, couldn't we invite roommates and friends to study with us? The regular practice of holding regular study classes would help keep the doctrines of the kingdom clearly in our minds and offset the persistent intrusion of worldly concerns. Opportunities to teach the gospel and baptize 
are not exclusive to those who wear the badge of a full-time missionary. I wonder why we allow the fire of missionary service to diminish when we return to the activities of our life in the world. What we need is a royal army of returned missionaries re-enlisted into service. While they would not wear the badge of a full-time missionary, they could possess the same resolve and determination to bring the light of the gospel to a struggling world to find its way. I call on you, returned missionaries, to rededicate yourselves, to become re-infused with the desire and spirit of missionary service. I call on you to look the part, to be the part, and act the part of a servant of our Father in Heaven. I pray for your renewed determination to proclaim the gospel that you may become more actively engaged in this great work the Lord has called all of us to do. I want to promise you that there are great blessings in store for you if you continue to press forward with the zeal you once possessed as a full-time missionary. You are a great army of returned missionaries. Go forward with new zeal and determination, and through your example, shine the light of the gospel in this troubled world. This is His work in which we're engaged. God lives. Jesus is the Christ. We belong to His church. He is my witness to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.